charges announced in the investigation of former Michigan House Speaker Lee Chatfield, but not against Chatfield himself. Instead, Attorney General Dana Nessel is charging two of his one-time senior staffers with various financial crimes. Up North Live's Daniel Zivian tells us who they are and what crimes they are said to have committed. One count of conducting a criminal enterprise, a 20-year felony. One count of conspiracy to conduct a criminal enterprise, a 20-year felony. A litany of felony charges against Anne and Robert Menard that they defrauded funds from multiple nonprofits and political action groups. We allege that the Menards financially exploited and or defrauded these entities through a sophisticated pattern of improper reimbursements, double billing, misrepresenting expenses, and falsifying records. The married couple's home was raided in 2022 as part of an investigation into their former employer, 76th Speaker of the Michigan House, Lee Chatfield. Robert was chief of staff while Ann worked as Chatfield's director of external affairs. In these roles, the Menards had access to a vast network of well-funded, nonprofit, corporate, and political groups which were tied to the Speaker's political activities. Nestle says the Menards also ran their own consulting firm during their time as state employees, allowing them to contract with the groups they would later allegedly embezzle from. Lee Chatfield has also been under investigation since 2022 over claims that he sexually abused his sister-in-law, Rebecca, for over a decade. Nestle says that investigation remains open, as does a possible criminal enterprise investigation. This investigation remains ongoing. And the Department of Attorney General has not finalized charging decisions in all aspects of the investigation. And that includes a review of any conduct involving former Speaker Chatfield. Daniel Zivian, Up North Live News. The Menards will be arraigned on January 3rd in 54B District Court in Ingham County.